wanted to show you my latest toy here in the hallway of the physics department. This globe is actually a bowling ball. Let me take it out of there. So this is a 12 pound bowling ball. It doesn't have any holes in it. However, it is an undrilled bowling ball. See it moves around on there. Over here I've got a dish. There's a tube that comes in the uh, side there comes through a hole under there and fills this dish with water and the water comes up the edges here and will overflow. So let's put the bowling ball back in there. It's designed to be a pretty tight fit. Down here in the bucket we've got some water which is turning oddly rusty. Probably need to clean my water up. And the bowl will uh, drain the water back there. And if I step on this pedal down here I get water to pump up through this tube. Now slightly colored water so you can see it. And once it fills up that dish, the ball is pretty free to move. You can see it kind of drain there. Water going back down into the bucket. So if I set this in motion, once I get my water flowing good in there, it just keeps going. The observant among you will notice that this is the uh, earth, of course. We've got this globe. And the direction I spun it was actually wrong. So if we look here, most of you are familiar with uh, this is a map of the United States. The sun is going to rise over here on the east coast first before it rises on the west coast. So if we are uh, in the position of the sun here, we're shining on this side of the uh, globe, making it all bright. And then the sun rises. You can see just over the horizon, we're starting to see the Rocky Mountains there. And here it's noon, midday in the, uh, the Midwest. So we meant to spin it this direction. This is called a Kugel Fountain. You'll sometimes find these at parks. There's one at Disney World over in Tomorrowland. And the ball just rides there on a thin cushion of water. It gets stuck in a couple of spots. I need to figure out if there's a rough spot on this bowling ball. The other interesting thing about bowling balls, they are weighted. They have a downside. So this mark here indicates where you're supposed to put the holes for the bowling ball. It's supposed to be here on the heavier downside. And the downside on this is weighted just so that the north pole comes up. So. That's the view you're familiar with looking at maps in the Northern Hemisphere. It's like that. All right, Kugel Fountain, made with a bowling ball and a 3D printed base that precisely matches the curvature of that ball and a water pump.